Ahoy hoy, it's the lovely Mary here, and today I just kind of have a mishmash of things to show you. Um, if you noticed, I didn't have a video last weekend, and that was because I was at this event, um, Anime LA. So I kind of just wanted to show you a couple of the things I got from there, and then I wanted to show you uh, some other stuff as well. Um, so I kind of just decided let's just throw them all in one video and just kind of show you all the little things I got um, recently. So for Anime LA, this was their 15th anniversary. This was actually my first time going. I feel like I've heard of them in the past, but it was never really on my radar. Um, but I actually really, really liked it. It was really fun um, for if you're not looking for like big industry, like you don't care about um, like having huge panels and that's basically what makes anime expo super crowded is you got you know shonen jump you have bang zoom you have viz you have all these you know places and things to see and they have all these panels and so much is going on which is great i love that but it has made ax super crowded in the past so this was kind of nice to kind of go back to just simpler times <laughs> At least for me, where it was just all about more about the cosplay, more about the the social interaction with the people around, and there were lots of vendors, lots of artists alley, so it wasn't too small that it was you know meh. You know, I've been to small cons where it's just been a little bit too small for me, um, but going to extremely large cons is also very overwhelming. So if you live in California and you've never been to this convention, I would say check it out. There was something horrible that happened um, the last day. We only went Saturday, so it didn't um, affect us, but if you just search Anime LA, you'll find there was some pretty messed up stuff that happened towards the end of the con, uh, but I won't get into that here. Pretty much going on Twitter and hashtagging Anime LA, you'll find a lot of information on it, so. All right, so let's keep going. So basically, this is all the stuff I got while I was there. I'm trying to be organized. I'm basically putting where I got each item. So here's one of these that I thought was hilarious. It's Flex Those Pecs. And I mean, it's Pikachu, but I think they're pronouncing it Pikachu. Uh, and it's by Me So Happy. So here's all their information if you would like to look at that. And you can find them at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I just thought that was hilarious and I had to get it. This one, this person was so sweet. I met her and she just has this amazing, amazing like cat art. And I just had to get this one because it was adorable. So go ahead and check this person out and you can find them at Lost Street Cat all over the place. So I would suggest checking them out. And even the back of the card is adorable. If you like cats and art, go ahead. You must check this person out. Let's see, we have, this was in the dealer's hall. I just thought this was super cute. It's like a little cat and it's a little roll and they're actually called Annie Rolls. And here's a little tag. If you um, search for them on Instagram, you can find them. I added them on Instagram and got um, a free sticker that went with this. And then we have Kinfold. We've been seeing them around a lot lately at conventions. And my husband got this, so you could go to kimfold.com and see all their pins and apparel. They got some really good art. We have, um, this is from Fantastic Fam, so you can find them online. And they actually, I thought this was hilarious. I've seen them, I saw them at AX, and I regretted not getting these hilarious tigers. So, and they actually gave me this. So you can enjoy 10% off if you go to this website until the end of the month. So might as well see what they have. They have a lot of like boba inspired apparel and pandas and stuff. So then we have Susan and I've seen her a few times at different conventions, Shattered Earth. She's for sure, I know it doesn't say it on here, but she is on Twitter. And um, we got her little squiggly Pikachu. You hear noises that's my cat and then we have this adorable like snake that's a cone and then this ditto y kind of guy and then we have two things from one booth this is uh, punchy if you play animal crossing he's one of the little guys that can come visit you or pocket crossing now too you can find oh see that's you caused the noise okay so this is from little bee draws 
and then um, yeah it's just like a little charm I thought it was super cute and then I also got this pin from them that says I will murder you I thought it was hilarious okay excuse me excuse. I love you but you gotta go okay then we have this, my husband got it, UCC coffee. It's an enamel pin. They had all different kinds of like little things like that. And this is from Hype, not Hype, hidedraws.tumblr.com. I'm sure maybe they have other outlets to find them because I don't know how well Tumblr's doing right now, but that's, that's what's on their thing. And then of course the official enamel pins you could get, Anime LA. They're drawn, and specifically, this one is the anniversary one, so this one was only available this year. Um, it was specially drawn, and then this is like their general um, little logo, I guess. And so that's it for those. I just kind of want to show you some other cards, though, of different um, people I got. Basically, if I got their card, it meant there was something I liked about them. So I just kind of wanted to push them out to look them up because there was obviously something about them that made me grab their card. So go ahead and check them out if you're into uh, anime and all that stuff. You may also enjoy... Oh, I'm wondering... Oh, okay, so this is for them. I thought so. So this person does have a card. I did just figure it out. Hide and Melon... Melon, I'm guessing? Melon? So there's where you can find both of them. I'm assuming it's two separate people. Hideaway Melon. So you can find them both here. And if you see little things written on it, it's because I was trying to remember what booth to go back to. So yeah, so that's a person to check out. This person had really good designs um, and like drawings and stuff. So I would consider going and find, finding them on Instagram. And I'll try to put post all their um, links and stuff down below so you can look to and have direct links to them then this one Higanbana Leslie Rosa handmade goods by a tiny by tiny girl with big dreams so here you go so I just want to push those and then also I think my husband yeah he grabbed these so this person actually makes um, cards like actual legit like card deck like 52 pickup card decks and he does them inspired so my husband got a dragon ball um inspired one and i got a sailor moon inspired one so if you like playing cards that's a good website to go to they also make like bottle openers and things like that they're also like anime inspired which are fun uh we got this so i'm assuming something happened here or we were handed it this person had beautiful um Lolita hat type hats and just just cute little stuff so I would it was just kind of too much for my budget we tried to stick to a budget this time around but if you're into little hats like that I believe they hand make them all so go ahead and look them up and you will find what we saw they were really beautiful they were just a little bit out of the price range for what we anticipated for that day and then we got this. I think people were just handing this out. I don't remember. It's like a sticker, I think. Yeah, so I think people were just handing that. So I'm not quite sure what that was for. We weren't really anticipating going until about a month out. And we bought our tickets maybe like the week before because we still weren't 100% sure. So we kind of went on a budget. So we decided to stick to small things. If you've ever been to an art sale, you know pins aren't expensive because, you know, the artists are trying to make money. So even though this actually doesn't look like much, actually it's it's not that cheap so we decided you know I'd rather find pins and stickers and things that support independent artists rather than like big company things where you know they're just shipping in a bunch of stuffed animals from China and they're making like huge profits off of those goods so we decided let's just stick to the artists because these are small little things that we can show off and put in our bags and all that so I hope you enjoyed this I have one or two other things to show you yes I do so stay tuned in a moment we also got this cool little tote bag I wouldn't shove too much stuff into it it's very thin but it was just a nice little free thing and we were basically just using it to stack all our stuff in that day on to the next thing so if any of you guys follow other youtubers um, game grumps they recently uh, released a new uh, pin collection 
And so this is what came with it. You can follow them or find them here. They're great. They sound like really nice guys and really great guys. Um, they do a lot of charity events. They do like random game show ones. Like they just posted a Wheel of Fortune uh, where they had Weird Al as their guest. And that's Guest Grumps. So they have a little bit of something for everyone. Because I'm not usually into streams that much um, of games. But they kind of make it interactive. They kind of make it fun. They even do like random mystery puzzle games which were hilarious so um if you've never seen them before go ahead and check them out so they just had a pin collection come out you get three random pins so you could have gotten any of these options you have your commons your uncommons and your rares let's go ahead and open these and see what we got all right so Looks like we have, ooh, we got, this one's an uncommon. And let's see, this one is common. And we got this, which is also uncommon. Cool, so we got three uncommons. That's pretty neat. Let's go ahead and open up the second one. And let's see, we got this, which is another uncommon. That's cool. Wow, we're doing pretty good, guys. And that's cute. He's common. It's common. Kind of has a little Kirby face. That's cute. And let's see our last one. We got someone playing the little mandolin, and that is also uncommon. Wow, we got a lot of uncommons, you guys. So let's see. We got two commons, and the rest were all uncommons. Wow. Look at that. That's a pretty good, pretty good spread, I would say, for only getting two blind bags. Uh, but yeah, and then, oh, they actually had ultra rares. So if you guys got this, let me know down below what you guys get. So here's the last thing. When I was at Anime Expo, I signed up for the Pretty Guardians fan club, and here's what they said. Um, Thank you for using our service. We here send you this special, this special gift. We hope that you would keep on being a fan of Pretty Guardians. So essentially what happens is you go to the booth. They told you, do you want to sign up for the fan club? If you sign up, you will get this, you know, exclusive bracelet that's going to get mailed to you. And then you get discounts and you get all this, you know, basically fan club perk benefits. And so why not, you know? Because I love Sailor Moon. Why not? So I joined and I waited and I waited and then I forgot about it. And I recently finally got it in the mail. And so they have sent a new membership card. Which I don't want to show my number just in case. I don't know. But here's the card again. It's very beautiful. And I don't want to show you my numbers just in case. I don't know if they're, they mean anything. I already have the account online. So I'm already linked online. But I don't know if I'm going to have to input that specific number. So here's a little sticker, 25th anniversary, and this should be what we've been waiting for, which is supposed to be, I believe it was a bracelet, was what we were promised. So let's go ahead, let's open it, ooh, nice bubble wrap, all right, ooh, nice little box, cute, it says, Pretty Guardians. It's a really nice pink. I don't know why my camera's not picking up on it, but it's like a dusty, rosy kind of pink. It's very pretty. And then that's like a shiny gold. So let's go ahead and carefully, I'm so bad at opening these. Okay, come on. The struggle, the struggle. Okay, there we go. Oh, and here it is, as promised. We have our beautiful bracelet. So let's go ahead and take it out. It's actually pretty heavy. So let's take it off of here very carefully. So as you can see, they look like pearls. I don't believe they're real pearls, but they look like pearls. And we have our compact. Let's see. It seems like it can open because there's a plat. Oh, yeah, here we go. So let's open it. Very carefully open it. Oh, it just doesn't want to stay open. Okay, so here's what it looks like up close. It says Sailor Moon. Oh, it's reflecting my camera. Is that my camera? I don't know. Okay, so it says Sailor Moon, and it's the same um, stones like you see on the outside of the Senshi, and it's really pretty. It's got, like, that dusty pink that was, 
it's, I know it's hard to see on here, but the dusty pink you saw on the box, it's pretty similar in shade to that on the inside. And yeah, it's really pretty. It looks nice and sturdy, and it's a nice little bracelet. And oh, there's something on the back. So there's just another Pretty Guardians engraving on the back. Very pretty. It is meant for a slender wrist. But they do have, but luckily I have a slender wrist. It seems like they do have an extension in case you need to, because I don't think most humans could fit this. I just, on the other hand, have a very slender wrist. But I okay. So if I were to put this on, let's see where it would attach. So maybe even I don't have a slender enough wrist for this. So yeah, even I wouldn't really be able to get all the way to the end without it being too tight, you know what I'm saying? So even my very, very tiny, what everyone calls baby wrists, because <laughs> they're so slender, um, even I would be struggling to make it to that end. But luckily, it goes all the way to here, so let's see what that looks like if you have the maximum. But I love that there's the little crescent moon at the end. So even if you had the maximum wristage, there you go. I think it would fit most wrists um like average size wrists but anything beyond that i think might be a tight squeeze so i really hope if you also got this that it fits your wrist it's kind of supposed to be a one size fits all and then i noticed on the crescent it actually has i don't know if my camera's really picking up on it like little notches it's kind of a neat i don't know why but it's kind of neat i don't know oh got these like notches on them nothing on the front though and I've been sick so it's been hard to get the motivation to work on stuff but I wanted to at least get this out pushed to you guys so you have something to look forward to I do have my new gotcha gotcha crate for January that I will be filming soon and hopefully that will be up uh, next weekend and uh, yeah so thanks for uh, stopping by and I hope you have a good rest of your weekend weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye!